Welcome back as we continue with Living Room Sports. Bob Pompiani and Rich Walsh joined tonight by Max Talbot and Colby Armstrong. And let's go down memory lane a little bit here because, Max, before you were really a superstar, you got some superstar treatment in a commercial that became very popular. Let's take a look. Here are your keys, Mr. Armstrong. Right on. Colby, what are you doing here? I'm here to pick up my new BMW. And l really took good care of me because of, you know, who I am. You? Who are you? I thought they only took care of superstars like me. <laughs> yeah, well, let me tell you, I'm going to say one thing about this commercial. And I mean, I got to be honest, I was a little bit hungover when I did this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what made it better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely not in the script, uh, <laughs> but it, it was fun. I mean, it, it, it was crazy because you, you do this stuff. You're with, surrounded with friends like Colby and, and Gino and, uh, and Gansh. But they don't tell you what is it going to be for, meaning how often it's going to be on the air. And, and you, you turn around, and next thing you know, it's the main, like, you know, sponsor the team. And it, it, every game it's out there, and I'm shaking my head, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is – but it ended up being pretty funny. And you look back, and it's, it was awesome. Kobe, oh those, those commercials were intentionally cheap, right? I mean, they were made that way. Oh. Well, when you have us two, and I don't think you have a choice, but it, uh, <laughs> it was uh, it was definitely something else. Like I, I think, you know, that's the first time I'd ever done anything like that, and just to be, you know, asked to be in that, and, you know, with those with the other guys that Max mentioned, I thought it would be some kind of fun, you know. But yeah, I didn't know how often it was going to play or what it was, and 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 you know, uh, when it came out, this is like when YouTube was like just starting, kind of. I I feel like it was just kind of like the new YouTube start and. It was on YouTube and it got picked up. I remember we had a game the next day and that night I was, I was went to bed and my wife's family was in town. Um, so they were up downstairs watching TV and, and, and my wife came running up to the room and I was sleeping and she's like, you're never going to believe it. I go, what? She goes, your car commercial was just on Jay Leno. And I felt my, <laughs> I, as like a terrible car commercial, you know, like he was showing like the worst car commercials and he showed this one. And I immediately started getting like uh, uh, hives. Like I felt like a rash coming on of like anxiety and nerves. And then we get to the rink the other, the next day for morning skate and like everyone's making fun of us and the people saw it and, like they were giving it to us all the boys. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a pretty big hit. It's nice to look back on it every once in a while. I see it flashes up and I think what kind of clothes am I wearing or what's going on? And then Max is doing chicken, chicken, chee, chee. <laughs> you know what? I mean, I've said it a couple of times, but this is out of uh, super bad. I was watching super bad, like the week <laughs> yeah. prior movie and McLovin, McLovin. <laughs> you know, <laughs> superstar treatment. Chee, chee. I don't know why I, <laughs> why I did this. I think, I don't think the camera was rolling, but that's the thing they took. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, it's legendary now. We had to do now. a bunch of takes. We had to do a bunch of takes. So I'm glad they got that one in there because it's a hit. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so Colby, you scored the first ever goal in the Winter Classic. Do you remember that? Do you still have the puck? I don't. I don't have the puck. I don't know what happened. I don't even know if I. I don't even know if I got it or not. Yeah, it happened pretty quick, and I, I ended up in that game on a line with Gino and Sid. So. I, I, I mean, that's, uh, you know, that's like winning a, a lottery right there. And it, it, it started off pretty good at the start of the game with obviously Sid kind of attracting all the attention going through everyone to the net. And I, I, I call it the, like a seagull. I just kind of swooped in by the garbage can and just picked up the trash right, right in the crease. Um, uh, but it was, it was still entertaining and, and pretty wild and a really cool scene at that outdoor game. But to, to be able to score, especially, you know, when the energy was probably at its peak right at puck drop. Max, I think it's easy to guess what the highlight of your career is, those two goals in that game seven. Uh, do you remember that? I see the picture behind you. Uh, how, how big of an impact was that game, those goals, uh, in your life? Well, it's, it obviously influenced the rest of my life. I, I think when I look back personally at that game, it's more just, and it might sound, but it's, it's really about being a Stanley Cup champion. You know, that, that's what this game to me is. Uh, you got a chance to lift the cup and, and you know, Flurry's big save at the end. And I was looking at it back. It was on TV because of the quarantine network. Don't know what to show. So this, this game, I, I've, I've been asked to comment on it a couple of times. So it, it, it is fresh in my memory. And, and it, it's funny because I look at it and, and, I mean, boy, I was flying. <laughs> and, and I'm saying that uh, 
because usually I was not flying that much. And there, you know, this game, I don't know, you just, you, you, you feel it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I even took the liberty to did a celebration, which I've never done <laughs> once in my life because I'm always surprised I score, right? So, uh, yeah, talk about it. It's, it's, it, it was great. It, I mean, it was fun. The I funniest thing about all that is that you did cash in, but you went to Philadelphia. I still cannot put the picture of you in a Flyers uniform together. Was that painful to make that decision? Yeah, what the <laughs> Max? <laughs> Oh no! I'm glad it's up. It's up in the corner. Let's you can't really out. see it. <laughs> yeah, well, the Penguin jersey is bigger. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, well, I, I do know. I exactly do know. And and you know, talking frankly, if I were in front of the same situation tomorrow, tomorrow, with knowing that everything that I went through, I would take the exact same decision because at that time. Uh, uh, I still wanted to win. Uh, you know, Ray Shiro traded my rights too at the draft. So I knew I was not going to re-sign with the Pens. That was, you know, there was no, no question that the Pens were not going to retain, retain me. So I, I was free and I had opportunities with, with you know, uh, more on the table. And I decided to go to Flyers because I thought it was the team that I had a better chance of winning. I mean, Pittsburgh was, and it's still my family. Uh, my second home, and like I, I retired, I'm a, I retire as a penguin, right? Pittsburgh is my home. Uh, but more talking about going through all these experiences uh, was very good for for me uh, as a human being. Coming up next, we got more with Talbot and Armstrong. We're going to find out more about their personalities when we pick a side. That's next, right here on Living Room Sports, KDKA TV.